Okay, so just to show you one more time, I'm going to stop my server here and just start from a clean slate. So imagine I just logged back into Cloud9. So I can close that extra terminal window out and I'm just going to close out all these other browser tabs. Okay, so I log back into Cloud9. If I want to start viewing my website in the browser, I have to click this Run Project button. Generally, I don't even have to bother with running this MySQL command because when you click Run Project, it usually starts up MySQL for you in the background. Okay, so then I'm just going to click this or grab this URL and you want to paste it in a new browser tab or just open it up in a new browser. Okay, so there are three main views that we're going to be going back and forth with um, while we do this project, okay? So one is this IDE view, okay? And we're going to access all of our files here on the left, do our coding here in this upper section, and we'll use this section down here just a little bit down the line. Okay, over here, this would be like our homepage. Notice we're just directly at um, it, where it says C9 users.io at the end and there's nothing after that. That means we're basically on our homepage. This is what our homepage currently looks like by default. I know it's pretty ugly. We're going to learn how to hack it up completely and customize it from scratch. Okay, and then the third view uh, is going to be our admin interface and you can get there a couple of ways. One way is you can just click on this right here, your site name. Okay, if I command click on a Mac, it'll open it in a new tab or you can also just right click and say open in new tab. Okay, so when I do that, I'm taken to the admin area. The other way to get there from your home page is just add forward slash and then WP dash admin. Okay, and hit enter and it'll take you there. Okay, so sometimes if you're logged out of this admin area, you'll need to log back in. And remember, we had set up the login to get into our admin area already when we were setting up the WordPress site. So make sure you have that stuff written down in case this logs you out um, every now and then. Okay, so the three views again are the IDE view here our home page or whatever page we're working on and we'll just periodically hit refresh after we make code changes to see our progress and then we'll be in this view the admin view so let's start here let's talk about this the admin view is where we're going to basically be adding content to our website so text images users things like that and we're also going to be able to tweak settings of our website okay so that's what this section is for over here, like I said, we're going to refresh this every time we want to see code changes to the, the look and feel of our website. This is just our home page right now. And then finally over here, let's talk about this. Let's talk about the actual files we're going to deal with. Okay, so if you're not familiar, you'll want to pay some close attention here. Now, I know there are a lot of files here on the left that make this website work. Okay, so whenever we run our server by clicking this uh, preview application, or run application button, okay, and our application is running now as we can see down here, um, it kind of brings these files to life, okay, and it starts up our, our database and it really just brings these files to life and so anyone in the world can navigate to our website. I know this is an ugly domain name right now, but we can change that later. And now anyone in the world can access our website. Our website has been brought to life and it's these files and folders working together to make this website operate. Okay, so as a WordPress developer, you're going to spend most of your time inside of this WP content folder right over here. Okay, you may have to mess with some of these files as well down here. Uh, in particular, this wp-config file. And if I double click this, you'll see it kind of pop up over here on the right and it's full of PHP code, okay? So WordPress is primarily made with the language called PHP. That's why you see .php at the end of a lot of these file names. Um, Facebook was originally written in PHP. A lot of websites, especially in the late 90s, early 2000s were built with PHP. But even today, a lot of websites are still built with PHP. Okay, so when I double click that file, we see it pop up over here in our text editor. And you don't have to mess with this, but this is where uh, kind of the configuration settings are stored in our code, okay? So we're gonna not mess with that for now. So I'm gonna close that out. 
And we can also get rid of this. We don't need this readme anymore. Okay, and then where you're going to spend most of your time, like I said, is right here inside of this WP content folder. So if you open that up, you'll see there's a few folders in here. There's plugins, themes, and upgrades. So we're going to be spending most of our time in this course inside the themes folder, and we're going to create our own custom theme in here. Okay, so you can put as many themes as you want in here, and each theme basically gives your website a different look and feel. Okay, so there are two main ways you can customize a WordPress site. You can customize the theme, uh, and there are plenty of th pre-made themes that you can download, um, and we'll show you how to do that here in a bit. But if you want to create your own, you'll want to put that data, that, that code in here. And the other way you can customize your WordPress site is with plugins. Okay, so we're going to be working inside of this themes folder primarily, which sits inside of WP content. 